Do you ever wish you could take meeting notes without ever having to write anything down during your meetings held in Microsoft Teams? In this video, I'll show you how you can automatically create meeting minutes using Copilot without ever having to write anything down. I'll also give you a few pointers so you can best leverage this AI tool. So let's hop over to the computer and let's get started. Firstly, you need to have your transcription turned on during your Teams meeting. When everyone has joined the meeting, you can now start the transcription by clicking on the ellipsis or the three dots here. Now select record and transcribe and now hit start the transcription. So as you can see, once the transcription is activated, you will notice that as the speaker talks, teams will automatically convert their speech to text. The transcription automatically captures what's being said and who's saying it. When you're ready to end the transcription, go back to the ellipsis or the three dots and hit stop transcription. You can access the transcript by going back into the meeting in Teams. To download the file, hit download. Now for the purpose of creating meeting minutes, it doesn't matter if you download the file as a Word document or a VTT file. So let's download the file as a Word document. To convert your transcript into meeting minutes, start by opening up your meeting minute template. Now, if you don't already have one, feel free to check out the description below where you can grab this exact template. Start by adding in the meeting name, include the meeting details, as well as the attendees. In the meeting notes here, copy and paste your transcript. Activate Copilot by clicking on the Copilot icon here on the top right hand side. Now for the meeting minutes, we want to ask Copilot to summarize the discussions held during the meeting. So let's type in our prompt. So here I'm going to ask Copilot to summarize the discussion by topic area. So once you've entered in your prompt, you can see here that Copilot has summarized the discussion based on key topic areas here. Now you would have also noticed that Copilot has given me a summary of key action items. However, I want to be able to extract this information into a table format so I can insert the text here. So let's ask Copilot to summarize the action items into a table format. So here you can see Copilot has given me a summary of the key action items. Now with the due date, Copilot has referenced next Monday as well as next Friday as the due date for the respective action items. Now we want to be able to refine this to include the specific date for when the action items are due. Now let's add in our prompt and ask Copilot to refine the table to include the specific dates. Now based on the meeting date, Copilot has now refined the table to include the specific date for when the action items are due. So from here you can copy and paste the text into your template. When you've copied your text over, you just need to go back and remove the original transcript from your template and make some formatting changes to finalize your document. As you can see, you can now delegate your meeting minutes to Cove Pilot, saving you heaps of time. Now I just want to take a few minutes to give you some bonus tips so you can best leverage this AI tool. The first tip is make sure that everyone's logged into Teams during your meeting. Once you have enabled the transcription mode, Teams will automatically transcribe the discussion based on who's logged into the meeting. This will improve the accuracy of the transcription as well as help document the attendees. Now, if you're in a meeting room with other attendees who are not logged into the online meeting, it's a good idea for the speaker to state their first name before talking so that the discussions can be logged under their name. Otherwise, the recording will be logged under the person who is actually signed into Teams. Now during the meeting, make sure that you speak clearly to the action items and call out the name of the person who is responsible and the due date. This ensures that the meeting minutes actually reflect the discussions held during the meeting to ensure that everyone is aligned. For the prompts in Copilot, make sure that you are specific in your requests. 
to get Copilot to give me the due dates in a date format. If you recall, I specifically called out that the meeting was scheduled on the 13th of August and to give me the due dates as date, month and year. If you'd like a cheat sheet with 25 prompts to use to better manage your meeting notes, check out the description below. I hope you got value out of this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more on how you can improve your digital communication network, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.